Hello, my darlings. Today we're doing another Bakugo story. So, hey, I hope you like it just like you do the rest. But before we dive right into it, I'm once again asking you for financial support. Simply watch the video until the end, like or dislike, and comment something down below. Why don't you comment down below how your day was? That would be fun, wouldn't it? This is how you can make my position in the YouTube algorithm ever so slightly better and I would greatly appreciate this. Of course you can also support me more directly by no donating to my Patreon or buying something off of my merch store. Anyways, I hope you enjoy today's story. And this is the cute animal picture of today. The cute animal picture of the day is here to remind you to do exactly what I just told you. Watch the video until the end, like or dislike and comment something down below. Now please, enjoy the show. There weren't many things you were ashamed of. Mostly things you could easily change, but were really easy for. But when you failed your provisional license exam in your first year at UA, you learned the true meaning of shame. Your father was so disappointed. Luckily for you and the rest of your fellow losers, was that thanks to the number one pro hero All Might retiring, a crime wave had hit Japan. So you and the other losers had one more shot. The following next few months were therefore used for training exercises off of the campus. And both written and physical exams. After a particularly brutal training session with the pro hero Cassandros at a rented out school gym, you were licking your wounds under the shower. Your biggest problem were ranged weapons. They intimidated you, making you defend rather than attack. And Cassandros had used a gun firing rubber bullets. Granted, his gun wasn't as devastating as the rubber bullets shot by the police, but it still was enough to leave behind many painful red splotches all over your body. Red splotches that would most definitely turn into bruises in just a few hours. A door somewhere behind you opened, and a heavy patter of footsteps came closer, turning on another one of the showers. Here is the glance. It was back ago. In any other situation you might have shrieked, but you were too tired. Plus, you and the other losers had been informed that the gym's shower here was shared. You thanked whatever deity decided to make you think, Hey, maybe I need a swimsuit today, this morning, while you packed your things to get here. You blushed. It was still weird knowing a guy was showering right behind you. Low curses coming from him. You turned your attention back to him and your jaw dropped. His body was in a worse shape than yours. What the hell happened to him? You suppressed gasping when you turned around to watch his back. You blushed hard, looking at him despite his bruises and various cuts. Luckily his eyes were closed, or else he probably would shout at you for staring at him. The water was gently washing over his toned, muscled body. It took you some mental strength to look away. <laughs> didn't think a girl would be comfortable with shared gym showers. He muttered in your direction, loud enough for you to hear. Wait, did he notice you staring? His eyes were still closed. He smirked. Oh well, considering how painfully boring the girls in our class are. You snickered. Up until this point, you had never really spent time with Bakugo alone. Especially in such an exposed kind of way. Then again... He wasn't a people person, meaning he didn't really spend time with any of the girls or boys. The obvious exception being Kirishima and an association Kirishima's friends. 
You, on the other hand, were a wallflower. Never really in the middle of anything, and mostly keeping to yourself out of a heightened sense of survival. You had a difficult childhood, to say the least. Well, uh... You blushed. By now your gaze had reached his belly button. How could you focus on any conversation while having an attractive half-naked guy in front of you? After a moment of silence with only the noise of the suddenly very uncomfortable showers, you answered, I had a rough day. And in movies, in, in movies they always shower after a hard day. You gulped and blinked. For a split second you had stared at his swim shorts and his bulge. With a head as red as a tomato, you turned around. Your breathing was painfully shallow. You both were silent for a moment before you spoke up. You looked like hell too. So he was staring at you as well. Can't say you didn't deserve it. What ringer did they throw you in? You scratched your left cheek and thought and answered. This gym isn't that big. He scoffed. I was too focused on my training, come on! You'd only seen his training session in the corner of your eyes yourself. He was fighting three guys dressed as thugs, and he was supposed to take care of them without using his quirk. My section of the gym, you said while carefully rubbing over a particularly nasty bruise, was a shooting range for the pro hero Cassandras. Only now you realized how similar both of your training exercises had actually been. Honestly, he growled and a wet thud indicated he had punched the wall. I think this little training session was specifically designed to humiliate us. It sucked only knowing what a training was, instead of hearing the point behind it. Judging by the crap you went through, he said, and you blushed again. And I went through. I'm guessing this was both about getting over our weaknesses and how it feels to experience loss in battle and overcome it. That actually made sense. You didn't realize Bakug was capable of such an intellectual thought. Then again, his school performance was pretty great. Ugh. As a failing this stupid exam wasn't humiliation enough. You looked over your shoulder, thinking you could risk another glance at him. His eyes were open now and he was washing his arms. You bit your lower lip. Then you noticed something was missing. Hey, uh... You stuttered. Mm. He grunted, his eyes now meeting yours. What? Do you not have, you know, sh sh shampoo? He rolled his eyes. What made you think that? He paused for a second. Then he pointed at the side of the shower. Clearly there was no bottle to speak of. Uh, clearly I don't. Your heart jumped. And your body began to heat up when a seemingly just nice thought came to you. One, some of mine. It smells like peppermint. He raised an eyebrow. Wait, did you just make a tiny dent into his armor of confidence? Oh, yeah, he said. Why? You blinked slightly, perplexed. To, like, wash you? He shrugged and turned around. Ah, oh, fine, go ahead. You blinked, and quickly realized what he thought you might mean. You blinked again in confusion, and then quickly realized what he thought you meant. He wanted you to wash him. You suppressed the yelp. Sh should, should you really do it? Why were you even considering it? After audibly taking two steps forward, he gave a hearty laugh. <laughs> I'm just joking with you. 
what was more surprising, the fact that he was capable of dirty jokes, or the fact he would have actually done it. All by flustered. Just give me the stupid bottle. This still meant you would have to walk up to him. With a heavily pounding heart, you slowly walked forward, bottle in hand. The further you got, the more intimidatingly larger he got. The old trick, imagine them in their underwear, not only never worked for you, it was pretty much now impossible. With a shaking hand, you gave him the bottle. Thanks. After spritzing a bit into his hand, he handed it back to you. But you could no longer handle it. Confused, you simply needed to ask. How can you do this so nonchalant? He raised an eyebrow in question. Like, shower? With a girl? He blinked. And then jokingly said, Oh no, a girl! Time to act like a horny child. Oh, look at that, boobies! He said mockingly. Look, not all guys are like Mineta or Kaminari. And not all guys are grabby and handsy. Now you blushed out of embarrassment. He sighed. Look, I, I'm, I'm not angry if you think that. Him not being angry was new to you. We just had a difficult training thing. He looked away. Yeah, thing is a good word for it. He shrugged. Do you really think after that I want to make a big deal out of this? With a metaphorical tail between your legs, you huddled back to your side of the shower. After making his words go through your head one more time, your stomach turned. You felt like the pervy bad guy now. Maybe you were. Or could this just all be a misunderstanding? How could you fix this? Should you even fix this? Baku groaned, returning your attention to him. His arms were crossed, and he looked down at you. What's with that face? I, I... I'm sorry for making you upset. He groaned once again. Oh, fine, he scoffed. How about this? Buy me some fast food to make it up for me. You furrowed your brows. But don't... You don't like fast food, right? He shrugged. Ugh. Just because I can't cook doesn't mean I don't like fast food. In fact, the cheaper and disgusting, the better. Your frown turned into a grin. You like cheap fast food as well. Um, okay. I'll buy you some food, then this is forgotten. He shrugged. Whatever. Let's just get clean. He turned back around and grinned. He would be lying if he said he didn't find your behavior cute. Maybe you weren't such an extra after all. <laughs>